This is Cato Hawes. It's uh, May 31st, 2023, and I want to talk to you about something important with regard to setting up a hammock or stretching a rope across a um, opening and putting a weight in it or anything like that. Now, these can this can be very dangerous. This is a 50-pound weight. It's heavy. Now, I've got my strap here, and as long as this angle is uh, very, very wide, my gosh, that must be about a 70 degree angle, it's actually easier to pull this up this way because you've divided the weight between two, two ropes. But watch what happens when I back up. That angle becomes closer and closer to a zero degree angle. And let's say I want to make it a zero degree angle so I can just tight rope across that thing. Let me tell you something, friends, that's impossible without pulling that tree down. I'd need a bulldozer and I would pull that tree down before it would get down to a zero degree angle. Oh my goodness, you, you need to try this because like I said, back this way, when the uh, angle of the degree is very, very uh, high, it's easy to pull up. It's less than 50 pounds. It's more like 25 pounds. It's divided between two. But as I come back this way, it gets harder and harder and harder. Why is that? It is simply because the weight on these ropes is proportional to one over the sign of this angle. The sign of 90 degrees is one. So one over one is, is one, and we've got it divided between two ropes, so that's super easy. But when I pull out this way, that sign is no longer one. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And what do you think the sign of a zero degree angle is? It's zero. And what's one over zero? It's infinity. Believe me, it's mathematically impossible to stretch a hammock or a rope between two endpoints and sit in the middle of it or lay in the middle of it and not sag. If you try to make it straight, something will break or bend or stretch and will not work. It's mathematically impossible. Please trust me on this and be careful. 